What's up, coach? My name is Bryce. I work for Synergy. You've probably been hearing about us and you want to learn more. So this is the video for you. We're getting into high school. If you're a high school coach, make sure to dig into this video, get an idea of what Synergy can do for your program. It's awesome. I used it for over 10 years uh, coaching college women's basketball, and I couldn't imagine not using Synergy. I think you're really going to love it. So let's dig into it just a little bit. Okay, so we're on the main page of the Synergy website. Uh, this is where you can access uh, games, players, leaderboards. Uh, it's really just like the Netflix of basketball. It's just an amazing resource for coaches to grow. Uh, you can use it for scouting. You can use it for self-scouting. You can uh, really just use it in a variety of ways that will elevate your program. Um, so you can see there's different tabs. There's a, a global search bar, so I can type in any player that's in Synergy. It's going to depend, you know, your access level depends on what package you buy. Um, so there's there's NBA stuff in here, there's NCAA stuff, high school stuff, grassroots. It really just kind of depends on what your access is based on the package you you end up purchasing. Um, so, but let's just let's just put ourselves in your mind. You're a high school coach. You're you, you're using Synergy. How does it all work? Well, you upload your game to Synergy. As long as you can get that video onto a on uh, from a camera onto a, a laptop or a computer, you can then upload it to Synergy. And then in about 12 to 24 hours, you have that game completely broken down just like we do for all these teams you're seeing right here. It's really, really nifty, okay? So you've done that, it's the next day, your game has been logged by Synergy. You can come in here and you can search up here for your team. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in Gonzaga Bulldogs and pull up the fellows right here. Pretend that's my team, my hometown team. So what we can see here is this is their uh, team page and we can see their list of all their games over here. And we'll go ahead and just pull up this game right here. You can see it's a Grand Canyon game and NCAA tournament. I can click on it from that bar graph. And then boom, just like that, we see that game pull up. We can see the score. Um, we can see um, the game flow chart. So we can see right here, uh, GCU had a bit of a run. And then boom, right around here, Gonzaga took over. On this game flow chart, you can hover over each of these little uh, uh, segments and it'll show you the synergy string, basically what was tagged, what happened in that possession and you can click on it and actually take you right to that clip. So really neat way for you to quickly jump around within the site to find you know, a, a turning point in the game and see well, what was going on here and how's that relevant to me as a coach. You could also just click full game video and play that video right within your browser. Um, you just wanna jump straight into watching the game. You can also watch it in clipped format. Uh, you can see there's lots of uh, additional data down here. You got your basic uh, stats here for the players um, as far as like a defensive view. I can also switch this view to all data I have lots of different options here. We'll go all data. It's going to be a ton of information here. Some of this, you got your stocks right here. Um, you've got your, your basic stuff like ATO, um, assist to turnover ratio, I should say, points per possession. Uh, and this is just the starters. You see the Gonzaga starters are down here. You can see their results from the game as well. Uh, and you got the bench down here as well to see you know how the different uh, players performed. Every blue number you're seeing is linked to video, right? Um, and also players have their own pages, all right? So there's a ton you can do from this game page. Uh, another thing that's really nice is you can jump around to a shot chart. So every game's gonna have a shot chart. You can come in here, uh, you can actually filter by player. So say I just wanna see Drew Timmy's shots, I can do that. Um, if I have our insights package, um, what I can do is I can also use our shot quality metrics. So let's pretend I'm the Grand Canyon coaches and I go to possession result right here. I just wanna see all the low quality shots um, that we took last night. I can hit that low SSQ. And then just like that, I can see all these low quality shots and uh, I can see the blue are the misses and the red are the makes. A great way to quickly get to some of the shots that are relevant to you. Maybe you're the defensive coach uh, for um, Grand Canyon and you want to see the high quality shots you give up. You switch it over to high quality, boom. 80th percentile. These are all the great shots we give up. I can click and drag over those. It'll select all these. If I hit play selected shots, those 21 shots will come up. And again, then I can see, hey, what was happening? How are we giving up these high quality shots uh, in this particular game? So uh, a pretty cool way to um, you know jump into video uh, with your with your game. You also have play types, um, and you'll see play types uh, all over the website. Uh, you see there's transitions, there's post-ups, and you see the different uh, subsets within post-ups. Was a single cover? Did a defender commit? You got pick and roll man. You've got uh, the isolations, off screens, handoffs, spot ups, cuts. There's a lot. It's really, really detailed. And I think a great way to showcase all these play types is actually on a player page. So I'm going to go back to the box score for this game. And what I can do is I can actually jump down to uh, one of the players. So I'm going to click Gonzaga and we're going to go to Julian Strother's player page. So by clicking here on Strother, it actually takes me to his dedicated player page. Uh, and you'll see right here, um, this is another cool thing that's part of Synergy Insights. If you have that as part of your package, 
we actually have player roles right now. So you can see Strother, based on our model, is a dynamic shooting wing, okay? Um, and all this stuff translates to the high school level. Everything I'm showing you, you would get as a high school coach depending on the package you purchase. So we can see the season is the 22-23 Gonzaga college men's season. Uh, there's actually player mapping. So if I want to go back a season, uh, watch his stuff with Puerto Rico and FIBA, if he's on EYBL or any of their grassroots circuits we do, you can watch that stuff. You can also change the competition uh, to show all the data from his entire season or what have you. So right now, this is just his NCAA tournament numbers. Uh, we can see in transition, his points per possession rating um, at that level of play, which is D1 men, was 92%. So super good in transition in the NCAA tournament for Strother, but I can change it to all excluding exhibitions. And, and really this is something coaches really love about Synergy is this points per possession rating area, this column. You can see Strother is excellent in so many categories. So he's in the 93rd percentile last season in offensive uh, points per possession rank. So only 7% of D1 players were better than Strother when it comes to overall offense as far as Synergy data is concerned. Um, this will be available to high school coaches too. You can see how individual players as well as your team stack up across the whole country at the high school level, high school girls and high school boys and get an idea of like, hey, what are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? Um, and again, everything you see here, as long as it's a blue number, is a link to video. So super powerful way to curate and gather data uh, that is relevant to you. So another cool thing about your players is the play type section. So what I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and pull up Drew Timmy with our global search bar up here, you can see all of his new stuff with uh, Summer League, but we'll go to Gonzaga Bulldogs. And again, you can see he's a post up big, but what I wanna talk about is play types. We go to play types right here, and you'll see all the different uh, play types that Synergy tags. So uh, one of these is obviously post up, okay? We can see there's pick and roll man, transition, basically any um, you know of these, of these categories that Timmy would have been involved in. Um, so we'll go ahead and click post up. You can see it's 46% of the time he's posting up. Uh, which makes a lot of sense. We, we all know that in watching Drew Timmy's game. Uh, we can see 43% of the time it was left block, 34% of the time right block, and then about 23% of the time a flash middle. So, hey, we, we know that the, a good majority of the time it's a left block scenario. I click left block, drops it down. I can see what shoulder he's going to go over. It's pretty close to 50-50, occasional face-up, but most of the time it's going to be right shoulder or left shoulder. We can see his numbers, though, are a little bit better on the, on the points per possession on that right shoulder. So then I can open up right shoulder and I can see all the times when he went right shoulder, there was a dribble move and I can see all of these different actions right here. I can see it's almost always gonna be a drop step. He's really, really good when he's using that drop step, uh, 32 possessions. So I could click on that 32 possessions and then I could pull it up in my in-browser player and see all of those different clips. So really, really nice tool. Um, so great way to just show you there's a lot to all these play types in terms of the level of breakdown that you get. You won't see this anywhere else, um, at least at the high school level for sure. So I uh, hope you found that interesting. Now let's hop over to leaderboards. Um, so let's talk a little bit more um, about leaderboards. So a great thing about leaderboards is it can show you, it can help you generate ideas. So if I want to, as a high school coach, use Synergy as a resource to help me uh, come up with some of the best like ATOs, what I can do is I can go leaderboards, team leaderboards, and then I can go over here to whatever league I want. Um, let's keep it on college women. And I can change this situation to after timeouts. And then let's do like a minimum possession. We want to have like a higher sample size. Let's go like 40. All right, so just like that, 40 possessions. Right now, I can immediately see Indiana, Utah. I actually have all of um, uh, women's basketball select right now. So I actually have Augustana, not just D1 teams popping up right here. So you can find anybody. Um, our base high school package, you get access to all the college stuff. So it's really, really cool. So. But like I see right here, uh, Indiana on ATOs, uh, they're really, really good. So that would be a team where I wanna go watch some of their ATOs. I can click on Indiana. And then I can go to overall and see after timeouts, they had 296 of them, 100th percentile, obviously. We saw that on the leaderboard. Um, I can see they scored 333 points. I wanna watch all their points. I click the 333, boom, I can watch it. Um, maybe I just wanna see um, you know, a certain amount of those clips. What I can do is I can click the 127 makes I can choose where I want to watch it, whether it's in browser or in our editor that comes with your Synergy subscription. Um, I'll do in browser and I just want to see like 25 clips. I'm good at 25 clips. I also have the option of watching high quality versus standard quality. We'll go standard. I click OK. OK, so our clips have loaded in and now we can see these different ATO situations uh, for Indiana. Uh, this you can see is NCAA tournament game. Um, so it's really nice because maybe this clip's not relevant to what you're looking to do. They were just looking to kind of get the ball against a little bit of uh, full court pressure. 
um, early in the game. So you can skip around, you can see the synergy string, all the data, you can filter uh, by player, by team, by um, any, any, any number of things uh, in here as well in this in browser view. Uh, it's kind of just like being on YouTube or Netflix, you can scroll, go frame by frame, um, jump around. Um, you can also create custom edits and, and curate playlists that are, are relevant to you and what you're looking to do as well. So really, really powerful thing. Um, I think that's a great resource for high school coaches is to quickly identify teams that do things well and, um, and then use those ideas to bring to their team as well. So another really neat part about all this is like, I'm a former high school coach, or excuse me, I'm a former college coach. And I was, I would love to have had an opportunity to find high school co players in Synergy and recruit them and evaluate them because we have this global search bar. It's like I could go ahead and type in any player in here, any team that I have access to and watch their stuff. So if you have players on your team that have a chance to play at the next level, um, it's a no brainer to have Synergy because it's going to be so much easier for college coaches from, from two year schools all the way through pro scouts and, and D1 scouts to be able to evaluate your players. So another really key thing to be thinking about. So um, yeah, so we hit on the game, the game tab, the player tab, the team tab, uh, leaderboards. It's really, really powerful stuff. Um, I hope you learned a few things about this and saw there's a lot to it. You can get as granular as you want, or you can keep it super, super high level. Uh, but you can trust us with your breakdowns. We've been doing this a really long time. Uh, there's a reason so many teams at, at such high levels uh, use Synergy, and we hope that you as a high school coach will consider us as well. Feel free to contact us in the description below. We've got a way to do that. We'd love to hear from you. And thank you for your time. Good luck this season.